have made easy. Our topic for today is fractions, decimals, and percent. Okay, let's start. What is percent? Percent means hundred. It is denoted by the symbol percent. One hundred percent is equals to one hundred over one hundred or simply equals to one. Conversion of percent into fraction. Any percent can also be written as a fraction. Example, 5% is equals to 500, which is also equals to 5 over 100. And, and if we simplify, we divide the numerator and the denominator by 5, so we will arrive at 1 over 20. Another example, 6.25% or shall we say 6.2500 which is also written as 6.25 over 100 but we remove the decimal point so we times the denominator and the numerator by 100 so we will have 625 over 10,000. And if we simplify this, the answer is 1 over 16. So 6.25% is equals to 1 over 16. To change the percent into fraction, drop the percent sign and think of a percent as a fraction in hundreds or just divide the number by 100 and then simplify. Conversion of fraction into percent. Fractions can also be written as percents. First, write an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 100, then write it as a percent. Example, change from fraction to percent. Let's say one half. So one half, we multiply 50 over 50. We have 50 over 100. So 50 over 100 is equals to 50%. Or we multiply 100 to one half with the percent sign so the answer will be 100 over 2 100 divided by 2 is equals to 50 so put the, the percent sign so it's 50 percent next another example change from fraction to percent let's say 3 over 5 so 3 over 5, we multiply 20 by 20, we have 60 over 100. So what is 60 over 100? 60%. Or 3 over 5 times 100 is equal to 300 over 5. So 300 divided by 5 is 60. So the answer is 60%. Next is conversion of percent into decimal. We can write any percent as a decimal. First, move the decimal point two places to the left, then remove the percent symbol. Example, express from percent to decimals. Let's say 85%. Let's express 85% to decimal. How? We write 85 and then we move the decimal point two places going to left. So 1 and 2. So we have 0 0.85%. So 
0.85. So, 85% is equals to 0 0.85. Another example, 7%. Okay, so we write 7 and again, we move the decimal point to the left twice. So 1 and 2. We fill in the blank with 0. So our decimal point will be 0 0.07. So 7% is equals to 0 0.07 in decimal. Okay, another, another example is... 115 percent okay again we write the number 115 and then we move the decimal point to the left twice one and then two so we have 1.15 so 115 percent is equals to 1.15 in decimals okay another example we have 12 and one fourth percent so, what is one-fourth? We convert one-fourth into decimal. We have 12.25%. Let's convert this into decimal. So, 12.25%. We move the decimal point to the left twice. So, we have 0 0.1225. Okay. First change the mixed number 12 and 1 fourth percent into uh, the decimal form which is 12.25 percent and then move the decimal point two places to the left okay to change the percent into decimal drop the percent sign and move the decimal point two places to the left okay don't forget Next, finding the percent of a number. Okay, to find the percent of a number, we change the percent into a decimal or fraction and then multiply. Example, find the 75% of 24. Again, we convert the okay, solution. Since 75% is equals to 0 0.75, we convert 75% into decimal. Then 75% of 24 is equals to 0 0.75 times 24. So the answer is 18. Another example, find the 75% of 24 another solution this time with another solution since 75 percent is equals to 75 over 100 which is also equal to three-fourths then 75 percent of 24 is equals to three-fourths times the 24 which is over one and then we simplify look for common denominator so 4 and 24 has common denominator uh, common factor i mean so 4 uh, 4 and 24 is both divisible by 4 so 4 divided by 4 is 1 and 24 divided by 4 is 6 and then we multiply numerator to numerator and then the denominator to denominator so 3 times 6 is 18 and 1 times 1 is 1. So the answer is 18. Okay, 75% Seven, of 24 is 18. Next, percent with a fraction. Okay, when a percent, when a percent contains a fraction, we need to change the fraction into decimal first. Then move the decimal point two places to the left. And remove the percent symbol. Okay, remember that. Example, find the six and one half of five hundred fifty dollars. Since six and one half percent is also equals to six point five percent, which is also in decimal form equals to 
0 0.065. Then, 6, six and one half percent of 550 is equals to the decimal form, which is 0 0.065 times the amount, which is 550. So the answer is $35.75. Cents. Thus, six and one half of five hundred fifty dollars is equals to thirty five point seventy five dollars. Okay. Percent greater than one hundred. So this means more than one hundred. Okay, a percent greater than one hundred means more than all of something. Okay, example, what is 250% of 7,500, uh, 7,950? Since 250% is equals to 2.50 in decimal form, we simply multiply. So, 250% of 7,950 is equals to the decimal uh, form is 2.5 times 7,950 is equals to 19,875. Therefore, 250% of 7,950 is 19,875. Okay. Next is percent of increase or decrease. When a problem requires a percent that is more than, add the percent of 100% before finding the percent of a number. Example, a sack of rice cost 1,250 pesos last year. The price of a sack of rice this year is 15% more than last year. How much is the cost of a sack of rice this year? So, what is the cost of rice this year? Solution. First is, what are the given? So, we have 15% increase this year and, of course, 100, which is the amount last year. So, the increase is 115%. Okay? Okay? So, 115% of 1,250 pesos is equals to 1,437.50. Okay, so therefore the price of a sack of rice this year is 1,437.50 centavos. Okay, so what's next? Can you guess? Let's test your mind, okay? Okay, solve each problem. Okay? Okay, thank you for watching. This is Teacher Gang, and I hope you learned from our lesson for today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching! Bye!